Sedimentary rocks are one of the three main groups of rocks, the others being metamorphic rocks and igneous rocks. Sedimentary rocks are made of sediment, which are pieces of older rock, or organisms, or can be made of chemicals too, all formed over a long space of time. Sedimentary rocks are made over five stages. The first is with erosion, with the pre-existing rock being broken down by a variety of erosive processes, making sediment. Transportation then happens, the sediment transported, maybe by water or by the wind, where it then undergoes the third stage of deposition, the transported sediments deposited onto the floor, making layers. The fourth stage is compaction, where the layers of loosely packed sediments are squashed by the weight of overlying layers. The final stage of cementation involves minerals that are dissolved in water as it travels through the sediments, then crystallising, cementing the sediments together, making sedimentary rock. But how do we classify a rock as sedimentary? The term classify means to sort, which we can do by answering questions such as what is it made of? Or what do we see? Are there any fossils in it? And does it react with acid? Let's start with what is it made of? Sedimentary rocks are made of clasts, more simply known as bits of older rocks, also known as sediments, and when deposited, make clastic sedimentary rocks. One way to sort these is by the size of the grains in the rocks, which, going from largest down to smallest, we have gravel, sand, silt and clay, which need a hand lens or microscope to see them. And these sediments help name the sedimentary rock. For example, sand makes sandstone and mud makes mudstone. Another way to classify a rock as sedimentary is if the sediments are in layers, as we can see in this piece of sandstone. The layers forming over time, with the oldest layers at the base, building and younging upwards, like this. This process taking maybe just seconds, or maybe millions of years. Wow! Another way to classify a rock as sedimentary is by using the shape of the sediments. Rounded sediments help make conglomerates, typically formed in beach environments. And angular sediments help make breccia, as formed at the base of cliffs. Another way to classify a sedimentary rock is by using the presence of fossils. Fossils being the remains of past life that lived millions of years ago, such as bones, shells and teeth, that are now preserved in our sedimentary rock. An example being ancient tropical rainforests that are now preserved as coal. Have you watched our video about how fossils are formed? Our last way to work out if a rock might be sedimentary is by using acid. Take this rock, which we think it might be a layered limestone. When we drip acid onto the rock, and it reacts and fizzes, it tells us that the rock is limestone. That's amazing! The six ways we can work out if a rock is sedimentary. It is made up of sediments. It is made up of grains that are of different sizes. The rock might be layered. It has different shaped grains. There might be fossils in the rock. And it might also react with acid. Have you seen our video about how dinosaur footprints are made? Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!